but I still have family members. I still went and called, check up on my godbrother. The situation in Haiti has brought Doolin Delcius to tears. It's really saddening, you know. I don't expect it to go down like that. Then things getting better is getting worse. Tell me why you're crying. Because it hurts me. Delcius woke up Wednesday morning like many other Haitian New Yorkers in complete shock and emotional after hearing gunmen assassinated Haitian President Jovenel Moise and wounded his wife in their home. And there's no president in the world. Something like that could have happened. No president in the world. Obviously, there is a problem. Here at Little Haiti, a restaurant in Flatbush, the news is hard to digest for the owner, Jack Laguerre. He tells PIX11 many of his customers express concern for their families in the Caribbean country. Everybody come with a sad face. You know, I've received a lot of phone calls. Laguerre also fears for his family and friends in Haiti. Recently, there has been a lot of kidnapping, a lot of gang, gang members. It's so many things happening in this country, and it seems to, it looks like, the international world closed their eyes on these people. And for decades, Haiti has been under political turmoil and has been hit hard by natural disasters, an earthquake, a pandemic, and recently Hurricane Elsa. Now this, President Moise refused to step down at the end of his term, sparking political protest and chaos. But some Haitian New Yorkers say they never expected things to escalate to this. I'm definitely concerned for the country. It's unfortunate what happened to him and his family. However, there's a lot of corruption going on with the politicians in Haiti. I'm just concerned about the governments of Haiti. In fact, I, I'm concerned about the governments of the Caribbean in general. While the opinions and feelings vary out here in Flatbush, there's one thing everyone is saying is that the people of Haiti are strong and they will bounce back from this. In Flatbush, Brooklyn, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.